just arriving at the hospital at night I kind of felt like maybe my water broke but just super super little so I'm going in to check I don't feel any contractions or anything so I don't know what that means but we'll see we'll find out Baby's face. Mm. Baby's black bone is pierced. It's the right. Baby is pierced. Okay, sideways. Uh, sideways. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Face pierced. Not pierced. Baby's face is pierced. Okay. Mm. Is that a problem? Uh, no. Then he changed moving. Okay, okay. Is the umbilical cord around the neck? Yes, one. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm better now. This, this is the last time in here. Then we'll come out. Let me see you, baby. Let me see. Hi. Hi, baby. <coughs> not eat any breakfast I just had some yogurt bar because I was super hungry I'm gonna have some lunch I'm pretty chilled right now I was pretty nervous in the morning because when I kind of realized that that was probably my water broken that has never happened to me before last time they had to um, manually break my water in labor with Nora quite late during the, the labor and um, I, it's it's eleven days before due date, so I'm kind of unprepared. Like I, I really thought this is going to take until the due date, until this baby arrives. But here we are. We are definitely not leaving today. This baby is coming. I'll just have to deal with that. All right, lunch just arrived. Looking very fancy. What do we have? Salad. Mushrooms. I'm guessing some kind of soup. And Ooh. Carbonara. Pasta. Nice. I'm actually pretty hungry. Well, there we are. I'm officially in labor. I have contractions. After my water broke. Because I didn't really know if that was my water. I... I kind of went back to bed because it was just like tiny 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 bit and um, woke up super late and got Nora ready to go to kindergarten and then I realized like no this is this is actually definitely not normal so went to the hospital and the doctor checked me and confirmed that this was my water broken and that meant that I'm not leaving and this baby is coming then uh, i had an ultrasound to kind of check what's the situation how's baby positioned the cord is still around the neck as it was in the last two scans which is okay one in four babies have their cord around the neck um, when they're born the head is not engaged like it's not fully down yet that meant that i had to be wheeled around in a wheelchair from that point on because they're scared of a umbilical prolapse and that is kind of when the umbilical cord could like fall under the head so to say and then come out first if that's something you need to avoid so um that means i'm not allowed to walk around which means i'm just lying here i had lunch um they hooked me up a while ago to the fetal monitor and did a scan for 20 minutes that's the fetal monitor right there and um, then you could see I had contractions and then after that I started feeling them and quite soon they came quite strongly but after lunch they seem to have died down again and I don't really feel much so I hope that's not a bad sign with Nora it was every three minutes from the get-go and it just got stronger and stronger and stronger so it's different it's funny how i don't remember anything about the pain 
like when the contractions got quite strong it kind of came back to me like oh yeah yeah i remember that feeling now but it's some kind of power of nature to make you forget all of that because otherwise i guarantee you nobody would have more than one kid <laughs> but yeah it's it's all right i just hope although i'm not looking forward to the pain i just hope that the contractions are going to pick up again because uh, the alternative is that they'll induce me um but i already have contractions so it's not technically really inducing anymore that's more like when you have no contractions at all they give you oxytocin which is a basically man-made hormone um, substitute that um, is uh, uh, simulating what um, happens in your body to kind of start labor and um, I want to try to avoid having to be induced so let's see if this baby's going to work a little bit harder now <laughs> but yeah it's 11 days too early I'm not mentally prepared but I wasn't last time either even though it was over the due date but yeah I still I thought I had still one and a half weeks and it's not like I had so many plans but still stuff undone and nothing major my bag my hospital bag was packed the baby clothes are washed um, I think Generally, we're fine, we're good, but just having those extra couple of days would have been nice, <laughs> I think. But anyways, um, Mao's out right now, he's having lunch. Hospital does not provide food for the husbands. So, I'm just kind of chilling here, to be honest. <laughs> Hoping that the contractions are going to get stronger again. And we will see how everything goes. Wish me luck. Okay, so I was getting excited that they're giving me coffee, but it's Drew's. And some cookies, which are good, but kind of hard. So basically, I just refused treatment because um, they wanted to induce me already, giving me oxytocin which um, I think is unnecessary and you can definitely wait longer than 12 hours apparently in China they do 12 hours after the water breaks and then they induce you but I think it's well enough time to wait because I do have contractions they're just not regular yet but they're starting sometimes really strong so I'm gonna wait and see and then if I still need to be induced they can still give it to me whenever later so for now, I'm going to eat my dinner. Dinner is served. We have soup again. Fish. Caesar salad. And reverse the tomatoes. Somehow this camera is making me look like I cried. I didn't cry. I'm, quite, I'm pretty happy. I'm quite good. I'm eating uh, Haribo Goldbeeren as an evening snack. It is now, wow, it's already 9.30. Time passed quickly. Did get an IV in. This time, it didn't hit my nerve. <laughs> Thank God. Um, so yeah, a little update. I have contractions, but they are not regular. They're not like they were with Nora. With Nora, they started every three minutes, every time for 30 seconds to a minute. And that was just non-stop. It never stopped. And this time it's really, it, it was for a while, it was quite regular. And then after lunch, it just kind of tapered off. And, and now they're coming sometimes quite strong. I can see that on the monitor whenever they hook me up, they're there. But they're kind of really light contractions, so I can't really feel them that much. But the ones that I can feel are like... They are reminding me. I still have a cold, which is annoying. I hope I'm not going to be coughing during my delivery. That's going to be terrifying. <coughs> <coughs> See? Yeah, so I'm just uh, chilling, waiting, watching YouTube. 
I did some editing actually in labor. <laughs> but yeah, everything's good so far. I don't know if I'm scared. I'm a little bit scared because I remember it was hard last time. But this is my second time. So I think that makes me a little bit more relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. When you make your husband eat everything you don't like. <laughs> including Xiaomi. Is it sweet? Yeah. Oh. Millie. Millet. Or how do you pronounce that? Honey. Yeah, I think. It happens to say it Ready or not, here I come. So they gave me oxygen because uh, apparently uh, during my contractions because the because the because the umbilical cord is around baby's neck. So they give me oxygen. I'm nine centimeters dilated. So they told me we can get ready for pushing. I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Hi. She looks like bright. Baba. Yeah, it's yeah, bright baby. and beautiful outside. Mm -hmm.